it's a bit of a big investment to start with, but apparently the money is sweet. I'm seeing something as big as this, which I can imagine produces a lot of money, and it's got a Ghanaian at the top. Ghana government, what's up? Five thousand five hundred Ghana. Oi. Hold on, every week, 5,500 Ghana. 500 Ghana, that's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> this feels like I'm riding an elephant or something. <laughs> I can't believe Ghana has all these natural resources just at the footsteps, you know, of, of our land. And these are the trucks that go and load the quarry sand into the timber truck. So this one. This is what I do for you in a tipper truck in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> from this dimple Equia dimples I am signing in hi family today I'm even tired already because we went to where my land is and we are going to start the project on the land and we need to buy basically some stones some sand some cement and I just thought you know what I'm going to take you along with me find out how much things are as we buy these key things for the house so today is going to be a bit of a you know a research video but we're going to be buying some key things so let's go guys follow me so guys today actually accompany me I'm not just going on my own in Ghana when you want to do something you have to have people you trust and I have my brother here his name is Razak you know he always helps me with everything so Razak has found someone who drives a tipper truck and he's going to help us with the sand collection and everything. How much is it? What kind of Ghana is for? Is this stones? Yes, for the stones. Oh, okay. So he's going to charge us 700 Ghana cities to fill a big tipper truck with stones for us. So driver, obey the year, my own. Okay, so let's Check go guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to get in the tipper truck and experience being in a tipper truck. I'm actually excited. So let's go guys. <laughs> Nervous that I'm going to be getting into a tipper truck, but yeah, here is the tipper truck. Oh my 
god. This is something else. the back. I can't believe this. This is quite an experience. Okay, okay. Okay. Metifufu, Mobrazin Tim. 
Africa Queen Fufu, made from 100% fresh plantain, so you can taste the pure flavor of real good fufu. Mm, I've been Food is ready. Mm, mm, mm. Let's dig in. Hey, what's it? Africa Queen Fufu. Experience the true flavor. Top what's it? Africa Queen Fufu. No, no. Brother, what's it? Top what's it? Brother, I'm going to try. Available in all Afro Caribbean. How much money do you get? So if you're giving the owner 1,800 Ghana cities every week, okay, how much do you pay me? 600 So, and now every day? No, a month. A month. Yeah. Okay, so the 1,800 Ghana cities you give them a week. Every month they pay you 600 Ghana cities. So you don't take your money, they give it to you then. Okay. So 1,800 Ghana cities weekly. In a month, how much is that? 1,800 times 4. So that's about 7,200 Ghana cities. So out of the 7,200 Ghana cities he gives the owner every month, the owner gives him 600 from it. So it's pretty good. As an owner, you are going to end up with, what, 6,600, I think. Anyway, but out of your 7,200, you give the driver 600 Ghana cities month. every month. And the rest is yours as an owner. But it's not a bad business, guys, if you want to enter it yourself and you get a trustworthy driver like our friend here today. Wow, let's continue our journey. We're learning so much about quarry sand simply because I needed quarry sand to build my house. We are going to see exactly where the sand comes from and everything that's involved. <laughs> the land to be able to build so as you can see there are many timber trucks here and they're all here to pick up some stone to take to people's lands to build but today I just thought I would come here myself and really see what happens at the stone quarry because I'm nosy so let's go and find out more okay let's go guys and you can see that that's what they are using to really break that stone so uh, it's quarry stone basically I have no knowledge of all of this I've never seen it before so it's interesting it's called quarry stone and we're here to buy some a truck full of it to help build the land let's go guys is booming in Ghana so apparently they're really really big tipper trucks you can buy one for 450,000 Ghana cities and apparently if you hire it out or you rent it out you get a driver who goes and does these deliveries apparently you'll be one rich person even with one tipper truck so imagine how much with loads more it's a bit of a big investment to start with but apparently the money is sweet 
So if you're out there and you're looking for a business in Ghana, here you go. That's a business idea for you. Ghana is just full of business opportunities. of the quarry stones. It looks like really good quality, like there's these specks of like, I don't know if it's diamonds or some shiny stuff inside it. Really good. I can't believe Ghana has all these natural resources just at the footsteps, you know, of, of our land, where our land is. This is just brilliant. Ghana can really produce its own stuff. But you know what? This is going to sound really bad, but since being here, I've seen a few Chinese people working here and they seem to be the bigger people here and it's making me question a lot of what's going on here. Has this whole place been contracted to Chinese? I have nothing against Chinese people, honestly I love them, but I'm in Ghana. When I'm in UK and I go to these really big, big places, I go to a big place most of the time you look at the statistics you would see an English person at the top I'm just surprised I'm in Ghana and I'm seeing something as big as this which I can imagine produce a lot of money and it's got a Ghanaian at the top Ghana government what's up <laughs> please don't come at me please I'm just you know a Ghanaian who wants the best for Ghanaian people that's all. Hashtag just saying. He's so knowledgeable about Ghana businesses and stuff. So he was the one that was telling me about, you know, the business of actually buying your own tipper truck. So with these tipper trucks, in a month, okay, let's say daily, how much do they pay in sales? Well, with this report, it is based on contracts. Mm. They do not work on a daily basis or make a sales on a daily basis. What they do is, you buy the car for the drivers yeah. and then you negotiate with them mm. and then you tell them that if today being a Monday, mm -hmm. the following Monday, which is next week Monday, yeah. the person would bring a sales to you okay. and each week when they come, they come with, that is 5,500 Ghana. 500 Ghana cities, okay. 5,500 Ghana. Oi. Hold on, every week, 5,000... 500 Ghana. 500 Ghana, that's about $1,000. Yeah, and more to the point is that it is based on... A week? A week. It is based on the type of tipper track that you have. We have the single axle, we have the, the double axle. The double axle, we have it tied. We have the one that it is 10 wheeler. And we have the big size. That is 12 wheeler. Mm. And beside something like this, it is a single house. So that's a single axle moving right. behind us. So with this, it is having uh, six ties. Mm. Six, six ties. wheels. Yeah, yeah, that is six, six mm. wheels. And then the big size, which is this one, mm -hmm. 10 wheeler, that means it is having 10 ties. 10 so wheels. You can, okay. yeah, so you can clearly see how big. The sizes, yeah. Hey. But the twelve wheeler is bigger than the ten wheeler. Yeah. So with that, each and every tipper truck makes a type of sales that it's very appreciable, right? And more to the point too is that uh, the single axle for them they don't make enough money. Mm. But uh, so how much is not enough money for the single axle? The single axle sometimes it is uh, thousand. Thousand two hundred Ghana cities. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but with the double axle and then the twelve wheeler, for them they make enough money. So if you have a money and you want to invest in Ghana, enter into tipper track business and trust me, you will make enough money for ourselves. So which one of them makes the five thousand five hundred Ghana cities a week? That is the twelve wheeler mm. and then the ten wheeler. Wow. Wow, my brother here, guys, you know, 
in case I, let me even introduce him every time i'm in ghana if i'm going to my land he helped us buy our land you know he looks after everything and in every video i know i keep saying people to trust in ghana are very hard to find i've managed to find someone i trust you know my brother razak here i've grown up since i was a child he's like my brother's best friend and that's how we're, we're basically family and i have someone i trust and that's why i'm able to do things effectively in ghana so if you want to enter these kind of businesses i really think you need to find someone you trust you know or you come and do it yourself but clearly this tip of truck business is very good very 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 good. Hey. very very good there is a lot of money in ghana wow a lot of money in ghana wow if you have this type of tipper truck trust me you give yourself six months seven months you're a billionaire in ghana hey yeah. he says billionaire but guys the money conversion into dollars and pounds no billionaires you're probably going to be a thousandaire yeah <laughs> hundred thousandaire but still you know in a few months it's pretty good that's really good wow thank you for telling us so today that we are buying um quarry sand sand yeah, that, that's quarry stones quarry stones yeah. how much are we paying we are paying 700 ghana cities okay and that's for the stones and the truck driver that's driving it yes okay Actually, it's the driver that we are going to give the money to him mm -hmm. so that he will send the stones to the site. Okay, so, so delivery... that the mason and the workers over there uh, actually they will work on the land, the land for using us. the stones. Okay, see, guys, it's really good you have someone in Ghana you can go around with because otherwise, that 700 Ghana cities they quoted him. If I went myself, they would have told me. 700,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> so it's good to have my brother here with me, you know. Give me a thumbs up because I'm working very hard, guys. So guys, behind me is a pin loader and these are the trucks that go and load the quarry sand into the tipper truck. So this one is jetting off to go and load the tipper truck. Let's watch it go. This is the kind of stones we've got and our truck is here, fully loaded, ready to go. So until next time, it's Kiss from the Simple, Kiss from the Simple, Eki Adimple. I am signing out. Let's go home. I'm tired.